Hi everyone, it's uh, good to have a chance to speak to you. Well, here we are again at a, a new juncture in our church where we can do things which we haven't been able to do beforehand. And this time we can sing. What, a, what an amazing joy it'll be to be able to raise our voices in worship to our Lord. And uh, we haven't been able to do this together for nigh on 18 months now, and now we can. And I know for some of you, that's going to be a thing you've been looking forward to, a time of real joy and celebration. And let's join together and let's worship in that spirit. But I know for other people, you might be slightly more apprehensive about that. So what we're going to try and do is find a way of, of helping both groups of people to be able to worship our Lord in a way that they feel comfortable and that they feel safe. When you arrive in church on Sunday morning, what you're going to find is uh, the seats at the front of the church are going to be pretty much as they were uh, 18 months ago. If you want to sing, if you want to raise your arms, then please come and sit down at that part of the church. The back of the church, we're going to set out in a more socially distanced way. So if you prefer to sit there, then please do. Um, you can sit at the back of the church if you want to. Uh, but if you want to do that, please wear a mask because that will help other people to feel safe as well. We're going to be serving tea and coffee for the first time uh, in a long while as well. So please do, uh, do come prepared uh, for in between our two services to, to meet other people, to talk. But again, uh, please do be mindful if people don't really want to, to chat, then maybe leave them be as they want to be. You don't have to wear a mask in church if you don't want to, uh, but please do be mindful of others who might prefer everyone to wear masks. And let's just be kind to each other. And together we can move on in this new chapter of our church. Psalm 95 says that when we worship, we, we want to kneel and bow down before the Lord, our maker. And that's where we are now. We're at that stage where we're worshipping and the worship we do is not about you or it's not about me. It's about him. So our response should be that whenever we worship, we should feel that desire to, to bow down in reverence before the one who's above all and in all. So in that spirit of worship, I pray that all of you will catch that glimpse of heaven that comes from worship over these next few weeks as we worship together. Thank you and God bless.